Hello everyone. Thank you for your interest in my presentation. I'm Masayuki Fukushima from Nakashima Propeller and I belong to Propeller and EST Design Department. Today, I'd like to talk about research of prevention measure for root cavitation erosion. In this study, we focused on root cavitation erosion, which is caused on the root of propeller blade and boss. We proposed countermeasure for root cavitation erosion and verified suppression effect for root cavitation erosion by full-scale observation and CFD. I'm going to divide my presentation into these five pairs. First, introduction, I'd like to talk about root cavitation erosion. Then, I'd like to explain the problem of propeller for high-speed SIP. In recent years, the small high-speed SIPs, which operate over 22 knots, are generally used as Fisher's patrol SIP, custom SIP, high-speed ferry, and so on. For such SIP equipped high power and high speed engine, and propeller which limited diameter for convenience of placement. Due to these factors, absorption horsepower per propeller blade area is high. Therefore, cavitation is happened easily. Then, these high speed SIPs shaft is inclined. So cavitation is caused easily on root of propeller blade and both. It is called root cavitation. This root cavitation can cause erosion when it collapses. This phenomenon is root cavitation erosion. Here the example of root erosion. The figure on left shows a root cavitation erosion condition after 3400 hours in operation. Root erosion does not affect proper performance significantly, and it has been reported that rate of erosion progress becomes slower with time. However, SIP owners sometimes regard the erosion as a problem for safety side judging by that poor appearance. Accordingly, we need to suppress root erosion as possible. Then, I'd like to talk about prevention measure for root erosion. As the general measure in Japan, one or two holes called anti-cavitation holes are drilled on root of propeller to suppress the root erosion. The figure on left is the normal propeller and on right is the propeller with anti-cavitation holes. This example drilled two holes per blade. Taking this measure, the root cavitation erosion can be somewhat suppressed but not completely prevented and customers are demanding further improvement. This time, in response to the SIP owner's request for improvement of the root erosion condition, we propose to change in the number of anti-cavitation holes for countermeasure. The number changed from 2 to 3. Since erosion frequently occurs between the two anti-cavitation holes that are usually installed, it was expected that drilling additional holes could be effective. Using this modified propeller, we verify the effect of preventing root erosion by full-scale observation. This slide shows full-scale observation conditions. In this experiment, the same types of propeller were installed on two high-speed passenger ships for A and B. These ships A and B are same types of ships and both of which operate the same route. To compare the effect of suppressing root erosion by two anti-cavitation holes and three, SIP A equipped for the propeller with two holes and SIP B equipped with three holes. Then I'll show you the result. This slide shows change in the propeller blade surface conditions of SIP A and B over time. I'd like to draw your attention to the left side figure, which shows the condition after six months in operation. Erosion was observed between the anti-cavitation holes on the blade surface of SIP A, but for SIP B, there was little erosion. After that, the erosion on both types of propeller gradually progressed, but 
as you can see, the erosion range on the propeller blade of ship B was greatly suppressed. Then, I'd like to show you comparison erosion condition on the propeller of both ships in terms of erosion depth. This figure shows that maximum and minimum erosion depth of all the propeller blades on its both surface at each measurement time. After about 5,000 hours in operation of ship B, the average erosion depth on the propeller by 52% compares to ship A. Judging from the trend of the erosion depth progress, it is expected that the erosion progress rate will continue to slow down in the future. Therefore, drilling the three anti-capitation holes will be also more effective in suppressing the erosion depth progress than the two holes drilling. Next, we calculated the pressure on the proper blade surface operating in diagonal flow by CFD to confirm the erosion suppressing effect of anti-capitation hole. The target propeller model is based on the propeller shape used in the full-scale observation. To compare the erosion suppression effect, two cases of calculations are performed. One case is the propeller without anti-capitation holes, and the other is the propeller with two anti-capitation holes. This slide shows the capitation simulation comparison using the calculation result obtained by CFD. When the top position is set to 0 degree, the cavitation patterns at 0, 45, 90 degrees of rotation angle are shown. I'd like to draw your attention to the cavitation pattern at 45 degrees of rotation angle. For the proper with anti-cavitation holes, there is less volume of cavitation than without anti-cavitation hole. This indicates that during the anti-cavitation holes can suppress the volume of cavitation. Then, we compare the risk of erosion. This slide shows pressure distribution comparison. This figure shows the view of propeller blade route from above. In this figure, the high erosion risk area is shown in red contours, indicating rapid pressure recovery. Comparing both propellers, for the propeller with anti-cavitation holes, the high erosion risk area around the root cavitation is larger. On the other hand, the area is smaller for the propeller with anti-cavitation holes. This evaluation can be indicated that the anti-cavitation hole can be effective in reducing the area of rapid pressure fluctuation and suppressing erosion range. Finally, conclusions. As a conclusion, I'd like to summarize the major point as this. That's all. Thank you for your attention.